What's up y'all, Ray here, and I wanna show y'all what you need to do now that you have your K40 installed, you have your smoke purifier, and you have your industrial chiller all installed. So after you get your K40 in its forever home or wherever you put it in your shop, you have your exhaust uh, exhausted out of your shop or to a air purifier or smoke purifier uh, like this, and you have your water, either your pump, I didn't use my pump that came with my machine, it's just kind of is hanging out up here in storage, or if you have your actual chiller here, this is the CW3000. I know it's kind of off camera, but you can kind of see it a little bit here. So after you have that hooked up, so you have uh, cool air flowing through the tube or the bulb or however you want to call it of your actual K40 itself, the things that you need to do are one, get all of your equipment on. Things are gonna wear, start whirring and making sounds and vaping at you and making different things go off but once everything is up and running once your machine you see that there is power you see that your purifier is going you see that your chiller is going next you want to go over to the computer make sure you are plugged up do the USB-C port to your computer itself I have mine down here can't really see it or if you can you barely see it but now let's go over to the computer and get started on having the PC or Mac whichever uh, you use uh, have the light burn software recognize the K40 machine all right, y'all, so over here at the PC, you can see that we do have Lightburn right here already installed. If you don't have it installed, just go through uh, lightburn.com uh, or lightburnsoftware.com. I forget what it is exactly. Install it, download it, uh, or download it, install it. You can't install it before you download it. And then uh, get it up and running. And if you need to update it or anything like that, get that all, you know, you want to have the latest software going. Uh, so what you want to do is once you're on the software itself, you're going to go down here over to devices. You're gonna click devices. You can see I already have it in here. I actually have it in there twice because uh, I had an issue, so I redid it, but I can delete one of those. So if you click find my laser, it's gonna say, be sure your device is connected via USB. Via USB, it's gonna scan. Uh, you hit next, and then it's gonna start scanning. And actually here, it did find it. So that's really awesome. So I'm very excited about that. What do we wanna call it? Let's call it uh, mom port. K40. I'm just doing this for the video itself. It's going to put your X axis and your Y axis. You're going to hit next. It actually homes to the rear left. You need to make sure you do that because if not, it's going to throw things off. Essentially, the home position is where your uh, switches uh, meet. So it's on the left and it's in the back. So once it homes, it's going to hit all the way to the left and it's going to come back out and then click it again and then stand right there. Like I forget how far it is from that spot. And then it's gonna go to the back, it's gonna hit the the, uh, the switch, and it's gonna come back a little and hit it again. I think it does it twice or not, but either way, it's gonna hit the switch, and then that's where it's gonna home in that rear left position. Hit next, and then now you see you have everything. That's it, you're done, here's a summary. It's gerbil, serial USB. This is the name, this is where it's going, or this is how big, and this is where it's going when it homes, and then we click finish, and then now it's right there, and you can hit okay, and we are set up and ready to go. So now whenever you do connect it, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure over here, this is my diode laser, I call it laser. Uh, you wanna go over here, make sure it's on, Monport K40. And then I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but now it has everything set up and ready. Uh, my machine actually uh, recognized it, and so it homed automatically, and so now we are ready to do what we need to on here. So what we're gonna do to begin with is we're gonna go up here to laser tools, and then see these tests, you can do focus test, interval test, material test, center finder. So we're gonna click the material test. We're gonna leave all of this where we are at right now because then we're just gonna do a basic uh, baseline. This is essentially our, uh, uh, what do they call that in science? Um, this is our, our just our base. I forget what the word is specifically. Uh, if I remember, I'll probably type it somewhere up here on the screen. But this is where we know that our baseline is going to be. Count 10. 10, the horizontal columns, uh, our minimum is 600, minimum is 10, maximum is 18,000, maximum is 100. So these are just gonna go through the different things and it's going to scale, it's going to go up. It's gonna increase in one way and in increase in another way to show the power and the speed and different things like that. And it's gonna show exactly where it's gonna be at, 100 millimeter by 150 millimeter. So what we're gonna do is when we're ready, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna hit start, but we need to go over to the laser, get our material and make sure we are at the right power settings on the laser itself since it has its own power settings. So let's do that now. 
All right, so over here at the laser, we're gonna come over here. I actually keep a scrap piece of wood somewhere around here, um, just to kind of keep it propped open whenever I'm working with it. Um, sorry, I was doing stuff with another video for, for assist. So now that we've got our machine open here, we wanna make sure we've got everything cleared out. And we are going to load up some material just to kind of use for testing purposes. So this might be a little big. Yeah, let me get this cut down to size real quick. All right, so now that we are cut to size, we're gonna put this right here in the center. Make sure it's free and clear. And then over here, uh, let's get you a little closer actually. So this right here is the ammeter, uh, the ammeter, whatever you wanna call it. Um, apparently words are hard. So you are going, I, what I, where I keep it is about a quarter of the way turned. In my testing, I found this was a really nice sweet spot and it gave me really clean lines for the test. Then later on, I can go through in the software and be able to test the uh, different power settings and things like that. But for now, for um, this video and for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna leave it at about a quarter of a turn uh, from it being at the max. Uh, it's not like literal, but you kind of see this is this is where the line is at. So it's about, about 90 to the bottom, but see okay so wait there's zero never mind so it's about it's about a fifth of the way i'd say so roughly but all right let's get back to go see uh everything going on inside the machine all right so looking at the machine we've got our piece of uh test material here we've got our air assist going i'll turn that on once the video goes and then we've got our laser here so we know that this is where the actual laser is a laser pointer so we know this is actually where the actual laser is going to hit right here um, i think i need to tweak that a little bit i'm not sure but either way so uh, once we run the test this will run and then it should cut it about here and then we'll be able to see like our different power levels and uh, speed and different things like that so let's get it cutting All right, y'all, so it is done. And as you can see, it looks great. Um, I need to mess with the air assist because you can see it's blowing a little bit of the um, crud all over. But now you can see that, see it shows intervals 0.100 passes, it's only doing one. These are the different speeds. And this is, uh, this right here, these are the different power levels. So you can see, that I could do 600 speed. Of course, it's 0 0.10, so 0 0.600 uh, with one pass is at 70% power, and it'll give me a nice clean cut, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Uh, you can kind of see 60, 50, and 40. So if I were to do some sort of like engraving, this would be, this would be pretty nice, you know? Um, and then of course it gets deeper and lighter and stuff. So if I were to do some sort of lighter shading and things like that, um, it seems like a kind of a sweet spot would be 25, 33 at 40% power uh, for just some shallow engraving. So, so yeah, but see, there you go. So that's, it's pretty simple and easy to set up your K40 to do a test uh, with Lightburn. It's simply just pretty much plug and play thing. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much all you need to know about getting it set up and getting to uh, making smoke now. So air assist, uh, air assist ran really well. And um, like I said, I need to just kind of play with it. I have a different uh, nozzle tip, so uh, it seems like I may be blowing a little too much air, so it's causing all that stuff. But if I were to do a light sanding on that, it would work out really well. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the things, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.